Hello everybody and welcome to the show. Today we're doing a big country breakfast. That's right, I headed up to my folks' house up in North Florida. They've got a nice country house up in uh, up in Williston. That's their front yard right there. You can see it's pretty good size. That's coming up to the house and we are ready to cook a big country breakfast. All right, first up, we're going to cook some frozen I've never cooked these before. Some frozen biscuits in an air fryer. I've never cooked on this Blackstone either, so I'm checking out this air fryer to see how it does. So I put the biscuits on low heat in that air fryer, and I'll check on them in about 15, 20 minutes. So here I've got about a half a bag of frozen uh, shredded hash browns. And the key to hash browns is just spread them out, salt them up, and leave them alone. <laughs> that's kind of the key make sure they have some oil on them underneath and just leave them alone so salt pepper and we'll see if I can stick to the plan or not it's really hard not to mess with those things let me tell you so I've got my little cast iron skillet which we're gonna use to cook our fried apples Got about two tablespoons of butter there. And look at me, already messing with the hash browns. I decided to stick some butter in the middle there to give them some flavor. And, you know, we'll see. <laughs> so we've got some apple slices uh, that we kept in some water just to keep them from browning. That's about two apples. So, and then we have, uh, we're gonna basically cook them in that butter. And then we have a lemon wedge that we're going to squeeze the lemon onto them there goes buddy in the background and the lemon that acidity is good for two things number one to keep it from browning and number two it balances out the sweetness really well look at me already messing with the hash browns this is after about five minutes just leave them alone dude <laughs> i'm telling you i have such a hard time with this i really do so here i am messing with them some more i move them over i decide to put down some butter just to give them some more flavor. You definitely want to make sure you have plenty of butter, some oil as well, to keep them from uh, drying out. So here I put them on top of that butter. You can hear that sizzle and just spread them out. And now we'll try to leave them alone again. So next up from here, we break out our second cast iron skillet. And here is where we are gonna make our country gravy. That's about a third of a roll of some country breakfast sausage ground up. Uh, I bought it up there. I do not remember the brand, so sorry. <laughs> uh, but any country sausage will do, Jimmy Dean's or whatever you can find. And you just want to brown this, basically. And that's going to do two things. One, it's going to... When you brown it, uh, we're going to take it out, move it to the side, and we're going to use those bits and pieces of that sausage that's still left in the pan to make our uh, country gravy. So literally, it takes about three or four minutes to brown that sausage. Just kind of flip it once it gets brown on one side, and then just let it go another couple minutes on the other side, and that's it. So here, it's about been about 15, 20 minutes, and I'm... Look at that. Biscuits are done. <laughs> I was um, I was just checking. I completely forgot about them. I checked them, and man, they look beautiful. So I take them out of the air fryer, and I stick them in the uh, in the warming rack. And I had them on low, too, but they, they got done pretty quick. I couldn't believe it. So we'll just leave them over there and let them chill out in the warming rack. So that's it. Sausage is done. Take it off. We don't want it to get too hard overcooked. So we kind of pull it out of the gravy at this point. And I didn't show this part, but um, you really should put in half flour, half fat. So I used the fat from the sausage. I put in about a tablespoon of flour, mixed it up pretty good. And then you want to add milk a little bit at a time. Um, I used about a total of a cup of milk, but I probably added milk, stirred it up, let it thicken. Add it again, stir it up, let, let it thicken. That's the process. It takes a while, but it's worth it. Trust me. Uh, you, I probably did that about six different times, adding the milk. And then once you're almost done with the milk, you add the 
sausage back in and you'll see it gets thick and then you add the milk and obviously it got to heat up and thick again so here we chop up that sausage you don't want those big lumps you just kind of want like smaller lumps so just take your spatula chop it up really good and here it is just about done so um, before we get to that it's time same thing apples are done at this point now so now we're about 25 minutes in so we add our mixture to the apples which is basically two tablespoons of brown sugar one tablespoon of white sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon and we add that in um, to our mixture there and that's going to give us a nice thick syrup back to the country gravy we add in the rest of our milk and now it's going to take another you know four or five minutes to thicken that up and you want this on pretty high heat i would say medium high to high heat now back to our apples <laughs> throw in a little bit more butter um, about another tablespoon and you just want to mix that around and what that'll do is uh, that butter the heat with the butter and that those sugars will heat up and get that to a nice thick syrup i don't like to do that early in the process because then that kind of syrup kind of goes away so I like to cook the apples first to soften them up uh, and then add that. So here we salt and pepper our country gravy. This is once you get the texture of the gravy that you want. Salt, I put in about a tablespoon and then some coarse ground black pepper. Stir it up really good, taste it, make sure it's what you want. Now's the time to add um, and it came out perfect. <laughs> So that's it. Now we move these off to the side. They're done. This is the hardest part of this country breakfast. Trust me. And then once that, and really the, the gravy is the tough part. The apples were super easy. You just kind of like let them simmer the whole time. So move that off to the side. Now we have our country ham. Those are half inch thick country ham steaks. And these are, these are already cooked. You basically just, you're just heating them up uh, all the way through and you want to get them a nice little browning on both sides uh, and that's it and with the country gravy you want to make sure you continue to stir them every minute or two uh, just because you don't want it to get you know sticky or lumpy or anything like that so just keep stirring it and it gives you an <laughs> excuse to taste it it's so good I could eat that just by itself and that would be my breakfast for sure so you can see here I flip this over and you can see the back one is definitely browning more than the front my first time cooking on this Blackstone, like I said, so you just got to figure out where the hot spots are. No big deal. Part of the fun, part of the cooking process, and that's it. They are looking delicious. Let's get these out of the way. And last step, we put down some more butter. That's right, we do use a lot of butter. It is a country breakfast. Southerners use, Southerners use butter. What can I tell you? And then last up, we're going to just cook our eggs. I always do the eggs last. They cook the quickest and they get cold the fastest. So we crack four eggs here. The order is two sunny side up and two fried, I'm sorry, two over medium. So just be careful as always, crack your eggs, throw them down and we are almost done. I'd like to cook the eggs on like a low as well. I don't like, because if you cook up on like a medium or medium high, number one, they're, uh, they're going to cook so fast you're not, you can't control them. That's the main thing. So, so eggs are down. The back cooks faster, so I decided to use those two for my over mediums. Give them a flip. Let them sit for another minute or so, minute or two to make it over medium. And that's it. I already turned it's already low so kind of move them out of the way and then we're going to cover the two in the front steam them up a little bit i did not show it but i steam them up just to cook it all the way through and that's it breakfast is done <laughs> here's a close-up look at those biscuits man look how beautiful they came out in that air fryer i am so impressed we've got our hash browns perfectly cooked nice and crispy on the outside look at those fried apples with that thick syrup beautiful our country gravy with our black cracked pepper our eggs 
perfectly cooked and our country ham they look absolutely amazing man this was a lot of fun let me tell you it came out perfect so happy to do this with for, for and with my family and look at the view man <laughs> look at the view from the back patio it just doesn't get much better than this here's a couple more pictures if you guys want to check it out everybody thank you for watching liking subscribing and commenting and we'll keep on cooking big cat out